Yo, what's going on, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Marcus Elbow. Welcome to Elbow Media Studios. And if this is your first time, all we do over here is keep it crunk, man. Yo, yo, yo. Elbow Media Studio. Yo, today I got a very quick, quick tutorial for y'all. Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Kitmaker. Uh, these guys over at Kitmaker, man, it seemed like they did something pretty cool. They tried to simplify uh, the process of making kits and bringing them into Nano Studio 2, Beatmaker, um, IMPC Pro 2. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I will admit, it's a pretty cool software. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to bring it into Beatmaker 3, uh, which is fairly easy. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I guess the benefit from this... It's, I guess sometimes when you're trying to organize all of your samples, uh, you, it kind of gets scattered all over the place, and you know it just becomes a hassle dealing with your with your samples. This is a quick way to kind of organize everything, bring them into one little package, and then have them right there at your ready with the kits already made. You might have to do some modifications because it's not perfect, but it is a little bit better than probably doing it yourself. But look, we ain't got no time to waste, man. Y'all know how we do this. Come on, let's head over to the computer and let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so as you can see right here, we have Kitmaker and this is the UI. Um, and, and again, this this is not a free program. It costs $25. You can go to kitmaker.com and you could buy it there. Um, is it worth $25? Yeah. Yeah, I will say that. If, you, if you're a type of person like me, you want to be organized, you want to have everything centralized in one location, uh, you want to be able to kind of pop in and get to work and not worry about where your sample's at, this is a good way to organize that. So let's take a look and see what it's going to take for us to make that happen. So initially, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your samples. Um, right here, I have went in and I have uh, accumulated some samples, at least I thought I did. Uh, hold on. So... I had a folder filled with samples and what I did was I took those samples and I put them inside of this folder, which you can see right here. And this folder is essentially a folder where I have all my stuff organized. I have my hats, I got my kicks, uh, melodic, miscellaneous, open hats, percussion, snare so forth and so on and you're probably still asking yourself okay well do i got to create all those folders really you don't all you really need to do is you need to go inside of uh kit maker and then instead of having it on machine here because they do convert machine uh sound packs as well uh which is pretty cool so if you got you know the machine uh mk3 or MK2 or whatever, or you have their their sounds, uh, you could actually bring those sounds into BeatMaker 3 and Nano Studio 2 and Akai MPC, uh, IMPC Pro 2. So that's pretty neat. But you want to go ahead and go to generic, and then right here it says make empty generic folder. You want to go ahead on and click on that. And essentially what's going to happen, it's going to create, let me pull this over, it's going to create a folder that's called generic folder. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna rename that. But as you can see right here, it already created the hi-hat kicks, melodic and all that. So you don't have to create that. But what you are gonna have to do is you're gonna have to rename that folder after you put all of your, your samples in. Um, and to make this simple, I didn't use a lot <clears throat> of samples. I tried to keep it relatively simple. I went with like 16 samples to occupy the 16 pads and do it that way okay now once you have that folder created all you have to do is grab that folder and bring it into and drop it right into this generic folder uh insert right here and as you see right here it's called grind heads that's going to be my sample pack that i'm gonna have uh ready for you guys here in a minute uh, it's going to be a drum kit and it's going to be free so you're going to be able to download that for the free free for the free, 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 free. Okay. Um, then once you pull it in and there, right here is your layout. So you can go in and you can move some of these things around if you want. If you want a different type of layout, you know, you can go custom, you can go classic, uh, whatever you really want. And then all you need to do is click on what format you want to do it for. You could do it for all of them, but we're going to just do Beatmaker 3 or just Beatmaker in general. And that's a dot BMK2 file. And then we're going to go ahead and push make a kit, right? And then once we do that, 
it's done that fast. And it wasn't that many samples in there, but it's already done. So you can go show kit, okay? And then it's going to show where, and essentially this folder is the folder I have on my desktop. And as you can see here, these are my beat maker kits. And that go grind head right there. And it has it broken down in two different kits, okay? And all we need to do is take that folder over to beat maker 3, and we're ready to go. So let's go over to BeatMaker 3. And all we're going to do is pull, take that folder and fly it into our iPad. And then we're going to go ahead and, and check that out and see what we got. So let's head over to BeatMaker 3 real quick. Okay, so now that we are in BeatMaker 3, um, all you have to do, if you go into your file system and you go into BeatMaker 3, these are the folders you will see inside of BeatMaker 3. Only thing you need to do is you need to go into your bank presets right and then you need to you need to drag those two those two uh folders as you can see right here i have two different folders with two different kits or the same kit of grindhead all i did was i just flew these folders into beatmaker 3 and i saved them right here you know i saved these two folders right there inside of the bank presets once you do that let's go to beatmaker 3 and then once we get into BeatMaker 3, all you have to do is go into your documents and then go into your bank presets and then grind heads is right there. All I got to do is hit on it. The the folder that the, the, the main reason for using this process is the fact that this software creates a .bmk2 file. You take that, pull it over, and there you go. There go my drums. Everything is there and you can still go in because like I said in the beginning, it's not perfect, but you can still, all the samples are right here on your left hand side. So you can still go in and rearrange the samples the way they are and then essentially save it to, you know, the way you want it. And then you could always refer back to that kit whenever you're ready. But as you can see, you have, uh, you have grind head one and you have grind head two. And like I said, it's not a perfect science. They're, they're probably still trying to work this thing out because I'm going to tell you what I would love. I would love the ability to set my samples up in here and then export it. So I would know where every sound is, where it's located. Even if I want to go in and rename them, that would be so cool, but that's not available right now. But you know, I think once it is available, that's going to make this invaluable. This is going to be one of those type of softwares that every person uses to organize their samples into kits. Okay. Hey, look, man, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you. I really do because I know a lot of people are having issues with organization when it comes to these iOS DAWs and being able to move your files around and then create kits, especially for IMPC Pro 2. Y'all already know. If you haven't seen my tutorial on bringing in your own samples into IMPC Pro 2, here, I'm going to leave a card right here. Go check that out so that way you could, you know, at least know how to do that. But now with this format, it seems like it's going to be a lot easier. If y'all want me to do a tutorial on how to bring them into Nano Studio 2 or into IMPC Pro 2, let me know. But I promise you, this is the same format. It's not that difficult. All you doing, I mean, on IMPC Pro, though, I think you have to use your Mac and transform via iTunes file share. So that's that. So it is what it is. But I think this is a pretty cool piece of software, man. It's $25. You want to support these guys, help them out. And uh, yeah, let's keep trying to keep this iOS revolution going. All right. Hey, man, look, I appreciate everybody for submitting your beats. I love it. The beats are banging. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. So I took a sample, posted it. Got some people flipping the sample, making some beats. Just trying to really get everybody really creating, man. That's really what I'm about. All right. All right, man. I'm out of here. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Marcus Elbow. This is Elbow Media Studios. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. See y'all in the next video. All right. All right. One. Peace.